Karen from ediblewildfood.com here. And today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm going to focus on the mustard family, the main identifying features of plants in this family. And although this segment will be brief, I'm going to be adding on a few extra videos to show you how it looks when you're actually out there and you're walking and you all of a sudden come across, let's say, Shepherd's Purse. Because it's not always easy to find. But other times, it's in your face. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk about the main identifying features. How about we start with, well, the Shepherd's Purse. What we have here, first of all, I can't focus on those flowers as they are ultra tiny. And what you'll notice with all mustard plants is, of course, the flowers are at the apex of the plant, followed by the seed pods. And the seed pods can take on different shapes. Obviously, Shepherd's Purse has seed pods that look like a purse. And down after the seed are the leaves, although I didn't get any with the Shepherd's Purse. The ground here is so dry it snapped when I tried to get it out. And the same here with wintercress. You have the flowers, the seed pods, and then the leaves. Now let's go back to these flowers. Let's see if I can find a good flower to focus in on. Uh, let's see. Mustard flowers are always the same. Let's see that. Uh, and what I'm going to do is add on a still photo right at the very end of this video to show you a close-up of a flower in the mustard family. There you go, garlic mustard. You're going to do it for me. <laughs> All right, so mustard flowers always have four petals. They always have four sepals, which are very difficult to see but they are back there. In addition to the four petals, there are four tall stamens and two short stamens, which again, it's very difficult to see here. But what you can see right dead center of those four petals, and just if in case you're wondering what I'm looking at, hold on, let me see. It's this flower right here and dead center is the pistil. So no matter what plant in the mustard family you have, the flowers will always have the same identifying features. Pepper grass as well. Let's move this guy out of the way. The flowers are kind of closing up there, but this is pepper grass and again, or pepper weed, some people call it, the seed pods. But these are just a few examples of plants in the mustard family. Not all peppergrass plants come from a single branch. I have a sample here. Sometimes you have the main branch and then it becomes multi-branched. And the same with the winter crest. There's your main branch and it divides and multiplies so it can become more prolific. <laughs> now one last mention about these seeds and the best evidence of this is actually the dames rocket or uh, wild phlox or sweet rocket. The seed pods in the wintertime are so, they are the actual perfect example of what these look like when the seeds have been released. And what happens is that the seed pods will split, releasing the seed. And I will actually add a still photo 
of the Dames Rocket seed pods so you can see what I'm talking about, but I'll do that right at the very end of the video. And that's another feature of the mustard family. So there we go. We've got this party started. And <laughs> now I'm going to take you out to some of my places where I enjoy hiking and show you what these look like when you come across them. Seeing them like this is one thing, but seeing how they look out in the field, that's a different thing. So let's get ready and go. Okay, so now I'm out and about and I have my eyes spotted on Wintercrest. You can see the yellow from the distance. And there you are. It doesn't end there. Lots of it. A little bit more over here. And there. But there's way more here. So there you go, there's the winter crest. And you can tell the, there's the leaf structure of the winter crest. And of course, at the end of the video, I'll also have, or actually in the description below, links to all these plants that you're gonna see. And, it doesn't take much to spot garlic mustard. This is a really healthy looking bunch. And I know I can hear many of you saying it is invasive, but just think of it. Look at all this incredible source of free food. Garlic mustard is high in omega-3, the B complex and other nutrients. <laughs> Literally there's a hill of it here. So trying to find this is relatively easy, I would say. And of course, I'm using my words in a jokingly manner. It is really easy to spot the garlic mustard. As foragers, we know there's some good places to forage wild plants from, and there are some not so desirable places. In fact, never forage along a railway line. I apologize for the wind, but this is a great learning opportunity because right here is a good stash of pepperweed or peppergrass. But again, this is right near a railway line. I would never ever forage from this area, but it definitely is a great learning opportunity to show you that as you're walking along there could be some food hiding around the next corner. Chance and I are on our morning walk and this is one little area that even though it's in the middle of a subdivision basically this is a nursing home here and we have quite a busy road over there. This area basically is considered a waste area. So I noticed as I come along the pathway here, there's your shepherd's purse. This is one of the mustards. Hang on, I gotta, let's see if I can do this. Hold on one second. There we go. So there's Shepherd's Purse. There's not a lot of it here. And that was about the only patch I found in here. But as you can see, sometimes you just have to keep your eyes peeled for certain plants. And while I'm at it, check this out. Dog mustard. There's the leaf structure. 
and the flowers and the seed pods. So there we have shepherd's purse and dog mustard. Okay, so I have a bit of a busy road over there, and this I think is a great way to end the video. This is to everybody in Mrs. Hamilton's class, Chris, Alessandro, especially for you guys. Anyway, we're going to end off with a recap. There is the winter cress, and of course the garlic mustard. But I wanted to show you yet another mustard. And this time of year, there's a beautiful color out there. Right here. This is Wild Phlox. Dames Rocket, Sweet Rocket. It goes by many different names. Regardless, this actually tastes really peppery. I love the flowers. The leaves are not as good as the flowers. And there's quite a few of them here. And you'll notice sometimes they're a darker color. And of course a lighter color. And here are some that are yet to bloom. So here in this one area, we have several mustards. And I'm gonna go over here. Nice little creek. And I believe I saw over here, just have to watch my step. coming around here and we're going to end it off with all this pepper grass or pepper weed, whichever you prefer. And there you go. Mustard family. Now these certainly are not by any means all the mustards that are in the mustard family. There are roughly, oh gosh, I think 340 genre with 3,400 species globally, with about 55 of them being here within Canada and the United States. Lots of mustards, lots of free food. And there we go. Thank you for watching. And if you are a subscriber, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate you being here. And if you're brand new, Hey, if you want to subscribe, I'd be very grateful. And of course, please be sure to give this a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you.